U.S. Navy launches USS Tripoli small carrier that can launch F-35B stealth jets. The USS Tripoli, LHA-7, the newest America-class amphibious assault ship launched May 1 comes with the ability to immediately deploy the Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II stealth fighter flown by the U.S. Marine Corps Aviation. The F-35B is the short-slash-vertical takeoff and landing spill, variant of the Joint Strike Fighter. Only the U.S. Marines operate the F-35B. The USS Tripoli is the second America-class LHA out of a planned fleet of 11. The lead ship in this class, the USS America, LHA-6, was commissioned into the U.S. Navy in October 2014. The America class can be used as small aircraft carriers, also called light carriers, equipped with either 20 F-35BS or McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II ground attack jump jets also flown by the Marines. It can also deploy a mix of both jets. It can also accommodate the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey multi-mission, tilt rotor aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL, capabilities. In addition, this class can carry several multipurpose helicopters such as the Sikorsky MH-60 Seahawk Medium Life Helicopter or the Bell A1Z Viper Twin Engine Attack Helicopter. The America class is intended to operate for sustained combat operations in an amphibious objective area. Its operations include embarking, transporting, controlling, inserting, sustaining, and extracting elements of a Marine Air Ground Task Force, and supporting Marines with attacks by helicopters and AV-8BS supported by F-35BS. The Navy and Marines are implementing a series of extensive preparations on the America class to ensure that their flight decks, sensors and weapons systems can accommodate the F-35B whose deployment aboard the USS Tripoli is slated for 2018. Technological modifications have been completed on the USS America and are now being included in the USS Tripoli. Enhancements to the USS Tripoli include an enlarged hangar deck, a reconfigurable command and control complex, an onboard hospital, additional aviation fuel capacity and a significant increase in available stowage for parts and support equipment.